today's video, we've got a little, something different, a bit of a product review. Now, what we're going to talk about is some new wheels that I got. These are the BT Losses, right? They're pretty cool. Uh, they've got wavy rims, as you can see here. And yeah, we're going to go talk about them. Technically, gravel rims. I've been riding them on the road. We're going to go through just the specs I've got, what you can spec them as, and are they actually decent? So first of all, we'll just go through the kind of basics. What are they? Well, they're wavy rimmed, which is the first time I've ever ridden, you know, the non-round rims anymore. So that's pretty cool. Uh, 40 mil normal, 45 mil kind of wider. So that's they oscillate five millimeters all the way around the wheel. Uh, weight wise, mine are 14, 36 grams. Now I didn't go mega light. Uh, I've got BT loss hubs on, which we're going to talk about in a minute because they're actually not too bad, surprisingly. And, but they can be 13, 36 grams, which isn't bad. 29 mil external rim, so that's pretty wide, never ridden that before, uh, so we'll talk about that as well. 21 mil internal, don't know, really, that seems fine to me. Uh, and yeah, you can get it with loads of different hubs, so you can get like Bitex hubs, you can get it with DT Swiss hubs, you can get it with carbon spokes, brass nipples, all, there's still lots of options to do. Uh, so yeah, basically that's kind of the, the vibe. For the BT Loss hubs, they're made of aluminium, mega. Uh, they fit through axles, quick release, they're pretty light, 97 grams to the front, rear is 216 grams. Written down here that DT 180 is 193 grams. So they're like 30 grams heavier than a DT Swiss hub. So it's like not too bad. Standard 6803 bearings in the front, you know, all the good stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the specs read out. How much are they? Good question. 600 quid was what I paid for mine. Uh, obviously, I am going to get a refund when I make this video. So is it a bias review? Maybe, but the cost is around 600 uh, 600 pounds, 700 dollars would be just like the cheapest you can get it is 620 dollars, but with some alterations, it's probably a bit more expensive. Um, but yeah, you can get different, lots of different weaves, so you can see, uh, get cracked them out again. I got the pink, uh, don't know why, lost my head, got pink, uh, but yeah, they they you know do the job, and you get 12k weave, which I have. You can also get unidirectional, so it doesn't look like anything. Uh, lots of different options, which I think is good. So yeah, in terms of like price, they're pretty mid tier to be honest, they're not like super cheap, they're not like 200 pound wheels, and they're also not like uh, Carbon Racework, $1,600 mega expensive wheels. So I've run a lot of wheels in my time as riding a bike. Uh, how many Ks have I done this? I've run them for like a month, so probably like 3,000 K maybe. Maybe not quite that much, but I have raced them. I've ridden them on a Cheney as well, or a Chain Gang, or a Group Ride, or whatever people call it. So there's been some real world like speed riding. I've also obviously done those, or just my general training, which is normally uh, you know, at the moment, actually quite good weather, so I can't really test the hubs, but yeah, anyway, what do I actually think of them? I think they're, they're fine, and I think that's kind of the best compliment they can get. They don't feel mega, mega heavy. They don't feel mega light. Um, having said that, you know, they're not exactly the same as my hunt setups. So my hunts, I've got like slightly more aero ones, but they are 100 grams heavier. Uh, so yeah, there's kind of like slightly different things. So mine weigh 14, 36, but they don't have rim tape on it, so that does make it a little bit lighter, because obviously normally you need rim tape. So Overall, they feel like pretty nice to ride, I'd say. They don't feel super slow. Uh, like we were going around like local race, 46, 47K an hour average. And you're not like, oh, wow, I am riding a bus. Like I know it's kind of cringeworthy to say it, but like when you're on alloy rims, like 20 mil deep, 30 mil deep, you are like, wow, this is actually just like, when you go quick, you do notice it. These, no stress. So I don't think they're aerodynamically, you're not going to feel it. Obviously, never taken to a wind tunnel, so that's kind of relevant. But the feelings is what we're going to talk about today. In terms of snapping this out the corner, I do think they're quite nice. I think the hub engages pretty well. Like, I don't really have any issues. It's not like sometimes when you've got a really bad wheel and you're just like, the hub is so bad, I can't handle it. In terms of the noise, um, I'll put it now, but... I think it's acceptable. It's not too loud. I actually look like an obnoxiously loud hub, but it's kind of okay, I would say. It's like, it's in between. Obviously, as you ride it more, slightly less grease uh, is in there and then it does become slightly louder. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the main things for the hub. I think the hub just does the job. Um, it's their new hub. So like before I got given a rim, but this time I got given the wheel set because they have the hub. Uh, spokes, I got like CX Ray. Oh no, satin spokes, they seem to be fine. I also chose brass nipples because I was thought I was going to ride them through winter, so they're slightly heavier. So my point is, that although the, the setup I have is like seems like you can actually get a fair amount lighter. And what's also interesting is they are actually gravel wheels, but I think in my head that doesn't really mean anything. It just means they've got wide external rims. So we'll talk about that. Like the, the wider external uh, rim width should help with wider tires. What it means is my tires blow up really fat. So they're 28mm Michelin power cups, but they are huge. Like 
verging on 32 basically so they do bear that in mind like they do come up really wide which is fine i don't really have an issue like with the tires i think everyone's a bit hyped about them 28 25 it's okay um maybe if you want to run wider it'd be better but for me personally i don't have a you know, I, I think riding the wider tires is interesting, or the wider rims, but I, I didn't notice a massive difference on that, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't say that was really like a groundbreaking. Okay, when you look down and see them, they do look really fat. So maybe if you don't have big confidence in the corners, it can help. But generally, like, you know, I don't feel like it's a massive, massive difference. Um, but yeah, I like overall, I'm pretty happy with the wheels. They do the job um you know like for his training wheels they're really quick like obviously i race them i'm not probably not going to race them in really flat races because i've got deeper section wheels which i think are faster and they're not much heavier but like if i have mega hilly races uh i was kind of wanted them to martinique which is super hilly like a lot of the days you're barely averaging 40k an hour they'd be really good um but like i didn't get them in time so they're probably going to be just like more of my training wheels um maybe i'll race like some hillier races with them because they are cool i do like them and i think that's the kind of biggest thing is like I've ridden MV78s and nothing's ever compared to those. They're obviously the deepest wheels I've ever ridden and those are quick. Like when I had them, I had like a climbing bike, rim brake, and they were just so quick. It was just ridiculous. But then I think like my hunts are really quick. I had them on my Canyon and I had them on the Scott Foy as well. Both of them I think seem pretty quick and these ones don't seem much slower at all either. Like obviously it's all just feelings. Uh, so yeah, I think overall, like I think they're a pretty good wheel set. And I think if you're gonna ride them for gravel, I think they'd probably be a pretty good choice, like 45 mils, not too deep. Uh, so yeah, I think that's good. Ah, oh, lastly, before we forget, the wavy rims. What are wavy rims like? Uh, not gonna lie, I don't think the wavy rims have made a massive difference to my riding. It's very windy in Bristol. Uh, and I got hit by a crosswind and I still moved. So as a very small person, uh, generally, uh, around 60 kilos, sometimes heavier. Uh, I didn't think it was, it wasn't like game changing. You weren't like, oh wow, now it's 45, 40 and 45 mil. Like I just feel so much more uh, secure. Like I don't think it's that different. Are they cool? Yes, I think it makes your bike look cooler. So I I would get wavy rims uh, from BT Loss instead of round ones, because they're just cool. But I don't think the actual, you know, maybe they're quicker in a wind tunnel, but the whole stability thing, pff, I'm not much of an issue. I think the biggest thing with stability is actually the tire width into like the tire rim interaction, and that's why. Although I said I can't see a difference with the twenty eight mils, they do feel pretty stable compared to my hunts that were like fifty mils because the hunts are really narrow, and then you put a twenty eight mil tire and it just goes bananas, blowing her out everywhere. So in that sense, maybe they are stable with the twenty eight mil. But yeah, I do like them. Like I've had no issues with them. They seem pretty quick. They seem snappy, and they're like lightish. So would I recommend them for like six hundred quid? Probably. I mean, I don't, I'm not a wheel expert. I haven't ridden loads of other ones, but I do think they're pretty good. But anyway, if you want to get some, link below. I don't have any commission. I'm just here getting a free wheel because why not? Uh, but yeah, just if you want to have a look at the website, go below. You can also buy the rims and build them up yourself if you want to. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of different options with BT Loss. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, feel free, make sure you check out BT Loss below. Just see what other options they've got. Um, but yeah, I was pretty happy with them. And yeah. Cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next one.